All right, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic today comes to us from Samuel Pole, who writes, I was wondering exactly how AMC intended to pay studios their cut of sales made through their new MoviePass competitor. Now I'm reading a story from the Wall Street Journal saying that studio execs are actually quite nervous about the new deal. Why would AMC launch anything without being 100% sure the studios were on board? I don't want to sign up for this without knowing it's going to be here to stay. Oh, it's, it's probably here to stay. And AMC doesn't need the theater's permission to do what they want to do with their, their whole thing. Now, here's how it's going to work. To the best of my understanding, AMC, the average movie ticket price in uh, America right now is like $9 and 40 something cents, whatever. The average ticket cost across the country, is about $9 and something cents. AMC is treating every time you use your new AMC A-list pass, it's considering that a $9 movie ticket purchase. That's what, how it, for its own internal auditing, it's, a, you don't have to pay $9, but it's just that it's counting that as a nine or roughly close to the, um, to the actual, uh, average movie ticket price across the country. So they're just giving a flat rate across the board, $9. Now for cities like Los Angeles and New York, where the average ticket price can be 14 or 15 bucks, that's substantially lower, but it's higher than in some places in the country. So it kind of evens out. And then Assuming that those tickets are being counted as a $9 ticket sale, AMC will continue to pay the studios their cut of that $9 ticket sale. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. Now, I read the, the article in the Wall Street Journal. It's some anonymous movie exec somewhere saying they're concerned. This was not Sony saying we are concerned. This is not Walt Disney saying we are concerned. Nothing like that. And besides, the studios got to get their heads out of their asses too when it comes to this whole thing. The studios have to understand that fewer and fewer people are going to the movies. It is things like this that will get more people coming to the movies. And what are you going to make more money on? Selling one thing for $1,000 or selling three things for 500 bucks each? You're going to make more money selling three things for 500 bucks each. And that's the way that the studios are going to have to start looking at this. And I think the studios are understanding the situation. The studios see the declining numbers and they've got to understand that the answer is not every single year raising prices more and more to compensate for the lack of people coming because that's just going to perpetuate the problem of less and less people coming. The studio industry and the movie industry has to start taking steps to getting more people coming to the movies as opposed to just trying to draw more money out of the people who are coming. And I think they understand that's the way it's got to work. And, and I think that is the way it's going to work. And I think this will work. I think you're going to start, maybe not this year, but next year, I think you're going to start to see theater attendance starting to increase. Maybe not this year, but next year, I believe 2019, when we get to the end of 2019, they're going to look at 2019 and say, this year, attendance actually went up. And I think these sorts of moves at AMC, Alamo, what Regal is sure to do in the near future, Cinemark, these moves are going to have a big part to do with that. All right, let's move on now to the third question.